23.7 and the standalone at the standalone bank level and rupees 23.2 at the consolidated level the book value per share uh, at the bank is 580 rupees and at the consolidated level uh, 600 rupees our strength is derived from our employees who who passionately engage who passionately engage uh, with customers to drive the business uh, it results in revenue per employee and profit per employee Uh, getting a lift year on year anywhere between 8 to 12 percent. Uh, with that, uh, maybe we'll open up and we can answer any questions or provide any clarifications. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Each participant are to be restricted to two questions per participant and join the queue again for a follow up question. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Vishwanath Nair from NDTV Profit. Please go ahead. Good evening sir. Uh, two questions first on the uh, provisioning side this uh, floating provision because you mentioned the benign business environment so just want to understand what this 11000 crore is supposed to do uh, and the second question is on the deposit front again uh, last quarter when you were announcing the numbers you thought that you don't want to be in the pricing game um, and that something that doesn't make sense you won't get in that business but then this quarter we've seen wholesale deposits rise again uh, what is the outlook uh, there sir okay uh first thing we'll talk on the provision the second one we didn't hear you much because it was echoing but we'll get to that uh first is on on the credit right uh, it, it's right that the economy uh, remains very benign right uh, and the credit performance of our businesses across all segments the retail segment uh the commercial and rural or the wholesale segment uh continues to remain healthy you see in the gnpa uh, at 1.24 i mentioned about the slippages for the year 1.1 against 1.5 prior year or for the quarter uh, 26 basis points 20 28 basis points on slippage uh, so across all of these parameters it is improving it remains to be benign uh, we have considered that this is an opportune time uh, when when the credit is benign this is an opportune time to enhance the floating provision that's that's the counter cyclical buffer uh, provisioning is exactly that when when things are good when things are benign that is where you get to doing the counter cyclical buffer uh, and that that's where it gets the balance sheet when when the credit is high and and is on the rise uh, you're already taking a charge and now when everything is benign that's the opportunity to do and we as you know that there were certain other things uh, providing offsets both uh, in the form of uh, certain transaction gains treasury gains or in the form of uh, certain tax benefits providing the opportunity and uh, this is this is an opportune time we felt and we took that uh, counter cyclical buffer uh, of the 109 billion that i mentioned about uh, and it is important to note that these also qualify for tier 2 capital within the regulatory framework uh, so that uh, i hope that gives you some clarity in terms of what we are thinking and exactly this is the time uh, when things are benign that uh, that you need that counter cyclical and that's the opportunity space that provides that to make it sorry the ah, second question second question was echoing uh, so please come back to ask again yeah yeah no, the point that i was trying to make is that last quarter when you were announcing the, your deposit numbers you said you will not do a lot of wholesale if the pricing doesn't make any sense uh, but then this quarter we're seeing an uptick on the on the wholesale deposits front so what happened oh. what changed and and what is likely going to happen going ahead okay yeah so very good uh, thank you for asking that about you know vishnu it's like this the total proportion of the deposits uh, the retail bank driven deposits continues to be 84% of the total the non retail is the balance 16% and it was the same last quarter too 84 and 16 uh, it remained there and uh, you, you know that the march quarter typically is a good uh, seasonally good quarter for deposits uh, which we have seen if you look at uh, look at our bank last march we had uh net deposit accretion of 1.5 trillion uh this year we had a net deposit accretion of 1.66 trillion so uh, we improved on that and yes there there was a, I, i alluded to 0.4 uh trillion out of that is uh, is the non retail deposit 
but in a proportionate terms it is the same so the overall proportion remains the same 84 and 16 uh, going ahead would you would you see the, that going uh, that remaining high again or is that 16% going to continue uh, for the rest of the financial year I mean, for fy25 our, our approach to deposit uh, gathering has been uh, primarily looking at uh, retail uh, which is what you want uh, that uh, at the granular level the branch and through the engagement we get those deposits that's a, that's the primary and the the non retail deposits that we have uh comes from various relationships including the cash management relationships and uh you you want some of these uh, uh accounts to be with you that's part of the 16% that we get uh one thing which is what we have uh, uh, done uh, over long time and that includes this quarter is that uh not lead this through a price so that means we are not looking at uh price to be uh, an incentive to bring in the deposits Uh, but yes march did see flows from corporate uh, which is what normally happens that part of the uh, what i explained that seasonally march is high where you see flows from corporates uh, which may, which we don't expect that every quarter and, and historically when you look at the uh, deposit accretion in the system uh, you don't see that the the corporate accretion of deposits happens all through in every quarter march quarter typically happens to what but then there is a retail also that accretes so proportionately it is very similar 84% If you like this video then like share and subscribe to ET Now